Hey, what's up guys? It's Bridget. Today I decided to take a no makeup day and organize my makeup. This is what you guys said you'd want to see on Twitter, so let's jump into it. First thing I got was from Walmart. It is a kitchen cabinet liner that stops everything from moving. So if I didn't have a container to put things in, I wouldn't need to. I just measured the box that goes inside of my Alex drawers and fits perfectly. And then decided to just cut up pieces that size to go in each drawer at the bottom to keep everything nice and stop it from sliding around if we don't have enough plastic containers that I bought from TJ Maxx to fill everything up. So I took all the makeup out of certain drawers, except for the bottom two, and slid a liner inside. Next, I decided to just take all the makeup out by category. So I make a small pile of highlighters, make a pile of liquid highlighters, make a pile of just miscellaneous things that I needed to organize. Because some of these things I just made room for as time went on instead of putting them in the right spot. And then I decided to just clean out the drawers and take all of the little gray boxes out because they didn't really fit my aesthetic anyways. Next, I decided to put the brushes and sponges in a nearby container that I could actually reach since they were in the bottom of my other Alex drawers and I couldn't reach them. So I put them in the sponges in my third middle drawer on the right hand side, which would be easier for me to access. And then I sat there and organized my Jeffree Star lipsticks because they took up a lot of space on my desks because I have so many of them. And I just put them in order by their category. Like when they came out, I put the farthest ones be the oldest ones and I put my most recent next to me. And then I, put, I just organized the rest of the drawers by whatever I needed organized. And things I put underneath of things, I didn't use as much. Alright guys, so this is the first set of Alex drawers on the left hand side of my desk and this is our first drawer organized. So right here we have all of my foundations, I don't even know if you can see, yeah there's some more foundations. We have primers and like two moisturizers, a spray, most of these are sprays. We have skincare back here because I have very messed up skin, the kind of liquidy primers, eyelid primers here, and then we have concealers and they're just kind of stacked on top of each other. For the second drawer here, we have our tools and a little ring. We have some tweezers, eyelash curlers, highlighters here, highlighters, highlighters, liquid highlights. We have a blush kit because it wouldn't fit in the rest of my blushes. Underneath here, we have platinum ice and a blush palette and highlight palette. We have contour colors here, Lorac palette, Lorac palette, heart palette, bronzers back here. There's some more bronzers all the way in the back and a highlighter palette. We have my Jeffree Star Skin Frost that I decided to keep. This is non aerospun powder. This is an RCMA powder, but I put it in the old container that I had because it has a sifter on it. And the RCMA powder doesn't come with like a container to hold it in. This is my broken ice cold highlighter that I'm keeping in here until I use it all up. Moving down to the third drawer is all palettes I did not organize. I left the palette drawers the same because... I don't know, I feel like this is pretty organized until I declutter. Same with the fourth drawer, this is all palettes as well. Moving on to the last drawer, I didn't do much organization, I just took some stuff out. So we have baby wipes to remove my makeup at the end of the day, we have my cellar water, which I use all the time, cotton rounds for the micellar water, we have um, stuff for wigs here, we have nail polish, makeup removers, the cord to my microphone, a lash box, a dry makeup brush cleaner. Alright, so this is my second set of Alex drawers that is on the right hand side of my desk. And we have a little sticker here that's white so you can barely see it, but it says existence is pain. It has little me seeks on it from Rick and Morty. 
So this is the first drawer. We just put our Jeffree Star lipsticks back in here, but not in the gray container anymore. They're on just like one of these mats that have grip at the bottom. I got the mat out of the kitchen section at Walmart. It's like Pioneer Woman brand or whatever. Then we have some colored contacts down here. I didn't have a place to put them, so I put my contact solution and some contacts. And in the second row, this one's a little bit hard to open because it does have so many of these in here. They don't fit perfectly, um, so they kind of like pop in and out. But this is it. So we have my USB cord that I use to put my data from my phone to the computer to edit for you guys. Some lip scrubs. Most of my liquid lipsticks, this is all my go-to mauve liquid lipsticks. We have some Velvet 59, my mini Jeffree Stars, um, ColourPop and a Profusion, Makeup Monsters and a Sugar Pill. These are some more um, ColourPop and Profusion that I don't use. And then we have some Sam Marcel, some Sleek Beauty, and a bunch of Smashbox brown lipsticks under there. So I don't really use this container, but I have it just in case I need one of these different colors. We have some stick lipsticks over here. We have Sam Marcel, Jeffree Star, ColourPop, and a Jouer Jeffree Star collab. And then the very back of the drawer, if we can pull it out all the way. Very back, back there, we have skincare that I don't use too often. So we have like um, lip moisturizers, hand creams, hand creams. Back here we have disposable lipstick wand. These are so cute. I'll leave some link down below for you because they're if you have like like the BH Cosmetics lipstick that I love, you need one of these because the bristles have like little furries on it and these don't. And then for like Halloween makeups and stuff, I use a lot of disposable spoolies. Down here we have a little Tatcha eye cream, which was free, so I took it. Um, and then lip liners. I don't really use lip liners, so they're all the way in the back. Moving on to the third drawer now. This is one that's going to be hard for you guys to see, probably. Um, but it is double layered. So this originally was double layered before I organized, but I didn't have anything underneath that I ever reached for, and I feel like it was a waste of space because this is the biggest drawer in the Alex drawer unit. So here we have all of my eyeliners and a jumbo pencil. These are just pencil liners. We have liquid liners over here and an Anastasia cream. We have our brow products right here, like brow pomades. And um, our brow pencils are in here with the eyeliners as well. Over here we have mascara and brow markers. Um, we have an RCMA powder, some setting sprays, a lip balm, and then more uh, eyeliner, gel eyeliners, hydro liners. Under here, I wanted to be able to reach my brushes because they were on the bottom of the Alex drawer on my left hand side. And they were really inaccessible. So in here we have just my eye brushes. Then we have some sponges in case I need to grab a new sponge. And then if I lift this out and just put it on top of my desk. Here is the underside of this drawer. So I put my big face brushes because I don't go in and out of them as much as I use for eye brushes. We have a pencil sharpener, a little razor, a binder clip in case I'm eating snacks at my desk and I need to clip them up. Um, a kabuki brush. We have a bunch of products under here that I'm not going to reach for really. Um, we have two of the Laura Lee palette, which I don't need. We have some business cards right here. We have some little things that I've gotten as either PR or things that are backups, like that's a backup color pop spray I'll probably eventually get to. More backup sponges. Um, things I got out of a boxy charm, like the Bang Beauty eyeliner. And then things that I'm not going to reach for as much as other things. So I keep it back there so it's still accessible. But I'm not going to use it constantly. But at least I can still reach my brushes and sponges without reaching into the bottom of an Alex drawer. Alright, so this next drawer is another double layered one. So um, for the top layer here, we have a bunch of lipstick toppers, which I'm not going to use, but I didn't know where to put them, so I just threw them up there. We have blush here. I wanted to keep all my blushes kind of in this general area. We have some more blush over there. Um, body sprays. I really only use this one. A Tarte Brighter Days moisturizer, but it has glitter in it, so I didn't keep it with the rest of my moisturizers. Visine, a blush, a little chocolate mini bronzer. Um... Glitter, because it's the only glitter pigments I kept. Uh, eyeshadows, a little eyeshadow sample under here. These are single eyeshadows that don't go in magnetic palettes. Um, so, um, Blush palette by Anastasia and a spare Cavon D magenta eyebrow. And the under here... So this is the second layer of this drawer. Um, underneath all these little bags and stuff, we have eye jewels and some spare brushes that came out of a boxy charm. We have 
eye masks, um, little samples and stuff, some more PR from Ciate, um, a skin mask, some unicorn shadows, some body paint, some sample um, Sigma brushes someone sent me. So if you order from my Poshmark, I just throw a free brush in there for you. We have a bunch of those. Um, and then some like little doodads I'm not really going to use back there. I really wanted these to fit in the drawer, but since they don't, I kind of just slide them on top and they sit here. If you have something that could shave down the lip, these would fit inside perfectly, but unfortunately, they don't. Alright, for the last drawer. This is still a mess, but it's more of an organized mess. Before, this thing looked terrible. So here we have a bunch of body paints and stuff. We have a bunch of pills, sleeping pills, um, ibuprofen, Advil. And here we have like a little bunch of knickknacks, like a glue stick, hair ties, pencil sharpener. Um, this right here, I know someone's going to ask me, it is a prosthetic nose. Um, latex, black paint, body paint, body paint. And then back here we have eyelashes. And if I can pull that out, there's some body sponges and more eyelashes back there as well. But that is it for this drawer. This is the one I don't really go for. I'll kind of just pull out my pair of eyelashes, and that's about it. I don't really reach for this very often. But that is it for both of my Alex drawers. So I think out of all of the drawers, this one's my favorite because I do have so many things I can reach for. Eyeliner, setting spray, brow products, mascaras, brushes, sponges. I feel like this one is a very organized drawer. But I also kind of like the top drawer over here that has like the liner in the bottom because I think it looks pretty cute and it's really organized. So you guys can let me know what your favorite drawer is in the comment section down below. Also, do you have any organizing tips for people like me who don't have like the fancy expensive organizers that fit in here? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. I love you. Bye.